Hey everybody, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2. Since last time we witnessed the horrific death of Pia at the hands of the Ripper. Did you find her? <laughs> we did find and, her, Professor. And... Dead. Oh no! Oh no, she's dead and it's, it's all my fault. I'll never be able to forgive myself. Anyway, I'm picking up some bizarre <laughs> She got over her death very quickly. Let's investigate. No, Dan, that's just what he wants. If we give up now, all of London will be his, and with London, the rest of the Empire will follow. Hey, Grammy, I don't care. Dan, Dan! Oh, no. Poor Dan is going to abandon his duty just because he's so grief stricken. So now we enter the sewers. So, weapon of choice for me personally in this level is the. Hammer, but you can feel free to use the sword if you want. But I'll be using the hammer for this whole level. I mean, just the axe, not the sword. The sword isn't very good. Use either the axe or the hammer. All right, Dan, you've come along. No, we don't need to save. How do you hit these rats? You get some gold pieces. Yes, we really needed those. So we want to jump down here. Don't worry about this guy. This guy is a friendly creature. So let's just follow him. Oh my God. What's that thing? It's being possessed by. That's right, everyone. One of those alien things from Greenwich. Whoa. They do a lot of damage to you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's a lot of health in this level. Come back to me, alien guy. Oh, come on. Ah, well. Oh, he's, he's so tricky. So you just want me to kill this guy? And once you kill him, they'll open up this doorway for you. And he begs us to follow him. So, since we've nothing else to do, we may as well follow him. Kind of annoyed to me so long to kill him, but ah well, he's dead, that's all that matters. Ah, fuck, we know where we're going. So, once we enter here, we enter an automatic cutscene with a big statue of Dan. Oh, oh, is it true the Great One Eye has come to save us? It. Uh -oh. Well, Great One, you see, we were once a happy tribe, singing and dancing. That was until the great beast came and lured away all our women. Now the only song we sing is a sad one. Aww. We have lost the taste for battle and the will to live. Great God, can you restore our women to us? If you can, you will be well rewarded. Oh, yes. If there's a reward in it, we'll definitely do it. So we want to smash open this chest. To obtain a gold shield. I, I kind of don't like the way that um, you just get handed the gold shield in this game. I prefer having to earn it through um, the chalice system. But, I don't know, at the same time it's kind of nice to get one. Because you'll probably need it later on. So, uh, well, that was a lot more damage than I thought it was. Oh well. Let's carry on. So down here we have... Two of these alien things, which are called Octomon drones or something like that. So they're basically the same guys from Greenwich that's using the exact same way squash with the hammer. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. So, once we beat the levels, we can move on. Just let's enter this little pipe system. And here we have a Dan Hand. I'm gonna warn you that as soon as you put your head on this, two enemies are gonna jump down on us, so you have to run. Don't try and fight them, just run. So now, as I said, just run. So you just want to do this little bit of a platforming puzzle and jump onto the... Well, kind of caught up in the graphics there. So we'll just jump up onto the switch and the door will open for us. So what we do is just... Just 
switch back to that and get ambushed by these guys. And we're gonna go squash him. Where's the other one? Die. They'll, they'll try and take over Dan's body because he doesn't have a head on him. But they're not too tough to beat. So just use the hammer to flatten them. And then we jump straight across to here. And reclaim our heads. And now we just enter this section. And there's another hand here. Actually, is there anything in here? Oh yeah, I remember this puzzle. Yeah, so let's just go back. Put our um, head on this hand. And then what I want to do is I want to just jump up here. And enter this little tube. Then what we want to do is just switch back to the body. And hit this lever. This is a bit of a tedious puzzle of just uh, hitting the switch until the pipes connect. And then just going on through. So as you can see, there's nothing there, no pipes are connected, so we just hit it again. Still no pipes connected, so what I'm going to do is also hit it uh, one more time. And once they're connected like that, as you can see, you can see where the hand is, so we just want to move on to the next pipe. And it's just back to the body. Just be careful that you don't um, run across at the wrong time, otherwise you'll lose life bottle and have to start the whole puzzle again. So now that that pipe is fully connected, we should be able to run straight across. And jump on this switch. Which forms a very convenient bridge for Dan to cross. Well, Dan's body, I guess. And... Don't worry about falling into um, the water there, as you just saw. You won't lose any life bottles. Just climb up here, reclaim our head, and now climb up this way. I think there's some money down here. Yeah. Now that we have the gold shield, we might actually need the money later on, so let's start collecting. So let's just enter this area first. Go down here, and talk to Winston. Oh, I've been looking for you. It may be time to see what the spear's got for you. Oh, cool. You might find it extremely interesting. Okay, Spiv, what you got for Sir Dan? Oh, a poster. What good is this poster? Oh my god! It's one of the tribe's women! How will we save her? Find out next time on Let's Play Medieval 2. This is Rexus, signing out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.